Okay, I have been reading a book um, that was shown to me. Um, I, I look at a channel called Parable of the Vineyard, and it's opened my eyes to the Apocrypha and supposedly books that are claimed as books that aren't of the Bible, like J Jasher or Yasher, um, Jubilees, um, Estrus, and all these others. Um, and this is one that they brought up, and I was curious what, what it was. It's called the Book of the Not Serene or and the Enlightened Ones. Um, the Enlightened Ones are obviously Yeshua um, and the Apostles. <clears throat> but this, um, I mean, I've read 120 something pages of, of this book, and it absolutely goes in line with <clears throat> what has been said. Um, the truths have enlightened even more. I mean, it told about how the uh, ten virgins weren't aren't, weren't re ready and kind of um, irresponsible, um, and their oil wasn't filled. Uh, but these books give a <clears throat> a different look at stories that we've been told, um, and the Bible doesn't completely. Um, share the background of like Joseph uh, when he was sold into Egypt. I mean, um, there are books that um, where um, they enlighten as to what the goings on of Joseph and um, others were. Um, so, um, but this is one of them. And so these are the, I've made, obviously th this is my handwriting and I've tried to post it also on my Facebook. <clears throat> but these are different things that I've wrote down from uh, reading <clears throat> and hopefully they'll help you out but um, <clears throat> but where it started was is about Mary and Joseph and it said that Mary and Joseph went to Bethlehem um, during um, the decreed uh, claim to kingship um, so when um, so Mary and Joseph were obviously um, Yeshua or Jesus's um, <clears throat> family, um, and this all of all these names, um, and I'm I don't know I'll be going back and forth from these names to the he Hebraic names that um, <clears throat> that have been given, but um, they went to Bethlehem during a, the decree um, to claim kingship uh, with the house of David, and they arrived during eventide. Eventide, um, I looked it up, and it's evening. <clears throat> um, and because of the eventide, um, most of the <clears throat> inns were full, uh, but there was a man that took pity on them and provided a cave stable. Um, so, <clears throat> and it says that Yeshua came as a separator, uh, dividing sheep from goats. Uh, the sheep are obviously uh, the sheep that are his, and the goats are basically everyone else. Another way that it's been interpreted is the wheat from the chaff. The wheat <clears throat> or the wheat from the weeds. Um, so the weed is obviously his people. The chaff is uh, things that he has, um, <clears throat> he needs to burn and get rid of. And that's how they did it in the olden days. They got rid of the chaff by burning it. Um, God grants us the freedom of, of activity. Um, and that we may enjoy the blessings of life. Um, strengthen your heart for the road, um, ahead, um, for, for the road ahead is steep and stony. No man is hated so much as one who tries to point out defects in character and attitudes and seeks to guide um, when along the path. And I thought that was pretty interesting. So it says it's steep and stony. So in other words, this is not a level, easy path. This is going to be a very, um, and also stony could be, uh, the stones could trip you up. Uh, they could also um, do what they did to me last night. I, I tripped and fell and busted my butt and um, I hurt my hip and uh, scraped my arm. <clears throat> so yes, you just have to learn to get up and keep going. Um, Andrew, um, Simon, who's uh, Peter, and many fishermen <clears throat> were all called. Um, they were the first. Um, and it says that he did not cure all because it created a disturbance um, and it would have done more harm than good. There are certain people that he doesn't har um, help um, or he doesn't cure because it would have done more harm to them. <clears throat> Sometimes God, I mean, and that's, 
that's a mystery uh, why God, I mean, that kind of points as to why God doesn't cure all. Because um, there may be things um, that are also in your life. Um, because when God cures you, you may be in a really bad situation. And, and he, he sees the future and sees what's going to happen. So um, he, he sometimes doesn't cure everything because the next world we are um, pure and holy and we live in a a body that can't be hurt, that doesn't have any disease, that has no imperfections. So he allows people to die. And it says, I will restore you to health and heal your wound uh, wounds. Be strong of heart and courageous, neither afraid nor dismayed for I am with you um, always. Fear no man, especially the rich and powerful, for they live in servitude to their possessions and position. Um, and that, I, yeah, that is so true. Um, they are definitely, they're, they're living to their possessions and their position. Um, so how they act and what they do, um, they have to put off a, a, a different um, attitude and air because their position dictates it. Um, and it also said that people of wealth and position are, um, those are the two hardest um, tests of, uh, of life on earth because they tend to take over and they tend to drive you uh, away. Um, <clears throat> and that's also what the book said. The only easy path in life is uh, leads to nowhere um, or are... Um, or others, but the path I point can uh, be cut by name, um, cut cut by none but yourself. Sorry, I'm I'm reading my own handwriting, and as you can see, my handwriting is not very great. Um, <clears throat> a peddler going from place to place is willing to undergo the hardships incurred through his wandering in order to earn his livelihood. Um, so, I mean. If you are a peddler of goods, um, basically, if you're any type of business person, you know that um, you will incur hardships. You will incur um, problems in in your life. And so God points that out. Only the foolish parent um, overindulges the child. I found that really interesting. Um, If you are overindulge your your child and just lavish them, and you're kind of setting them up for failure. Um, I know a lot of people in my life, um, who, um, have lived a certain way. And then when they hit adulthood, they're like, holy crap, what happened? Um, so don't overindulge your child. Um, they need to go through times of, of trial and, um, different things. Um, Knowles is a great group. Uh, what is the other one? Um, I can't remember the name. There's another group like Knowles that's also out there, but there are many, um, times when kids need to be challenged. And that's the only way that they grow up Um, and keeping them from different things like jobs and trying to earn their way is not a good thing. Yes, they need to have their own life, but they also need to um, have some stuff behind it. Charity is giving um, a hand to the blind man or um, soothing the wounds of those uh, smitten with the Ruach. the Ruach is the spirit, uh, strengthening, um, and the Ruach is also a strengthening sword of life. So the Ruach is the strengthening of the sword of life. So the spirit within you is the sword. It is good to help those in distress uh, or those who uh, can't help themselves. Uh, but sometimes living, um, but giving does more harm than good. Like if you give to someone, um, and they buy cigarettes or, uh, are not good with it, then, um, then your giving is not a good thing. Um, and also, I mean, this points to, um, um, how people, um, like buy beamers and these other things that are like these luxury items. And if you're supporting their overindulgent lifestyles, then you're doing them more harm than good. Um, do not act as though the day's labor is, uh, is important and must be completed, uh, within that day. Um, don't take, um, so basically he's, he's saying that, um, yes, you should, um, work hard, but you should also, 
um, not try to complete it in, in one day. Um, sometimes um, there are tasks in life that take multiple days or multiple years. Um, don't take God's path unless um, he is prepared um, to grasp firmly and to cut deep uh, furrow. Uh, be prepared for weariness and sweat. In other words, hard work. Um, <clears throat> pray that your deeds merit the, the reward of goodness. Don't neglect creation and animals that work for you. Um, so basically he's saying that we are not to neglect the creation. We don't, um, we are given dominion over it. Um, however, a lot of people treat their animals and creation like crap. Um, I have a hard time holding my tongue. Uh, I, I, I did up to this point work at a park. And I heard gunshots, and I, I felt like they were trying to kill every bird there. And actually, after they were done, there weren't any birds left. There was like two left out of hundreds that were, were there originally. Um, so if you're killing creation just for the hell of it or for a trophy, um, um, and I've also heard that um, they will judge you, that God uses everything to, um, he uses every word, every deed, everything you've done here, in order to judge you, if you've um, if you've done stupid things and done things that you know you shouldn't have, um, or and or things that you didn't know, that's why the uh, the Holy Spirit is inside of you because He points to things that um, need to be covered. Um, there's things that He that He knows that you've done, and the only way that um, they're covered is by uh, the Holy Spirit, or the ruach hakadesh. Um, be humble in your, your knowledge and not puffed up. Um, so, yeah, I found that interesting. The, uh, the easy way is rarely the best way. Fear not the hostility of men, nor the wiles of their works. Rise above your conditions. Strive always to rise above your circumstances. For in striving, uh, you gain strength. Um, so as you can see, there's some uh, a lot of um, good, meaningful things. And that was only one page. Um, so life has two purposes, to test and to teach. Um, what I've heard, um, I'm not quite sure if this is true, that our spirit um, comes down uh, because there's things in, that we can only learn here on this world. And in order for our spirit to know and understand um, things, um, they have to be tested and taught to you. Um, so that's, um, but yes, and that I kind of, I had a revelation, um, a while back that it was to test and to teach, um, like God wants people that he can trust. Um, he doesn't want to lose people like he did. He doesn't want to, um, have someone uh, go against him. Um, look at how a third of the angels followed uh, Lucifer, um, which was um, a spirit of light is what he was called. And his name changed to Satan because um, he was a deceiver. Um, never uh, praise yourself. Be careful with whom uh, you associate. Um, And the things a man possesses, his talents and skills, are gifts bestowed by the grace of Yahuwah. Yahuwah is another another name for um, for God the Father. The rich are responsible for providing the needs of the poor, whether by work or um, or food. And his um, and his is the prime responsibility of wealth, or this is the prime responsibility of wealth. Of what use would my teachings be in the wilderness? Learning and good conduct must go hand in hand, and greatest wisdom is that which teaches men to live in harmony. They who seek to escape the tests and trials of life are cowards. So basically, if you're hiding from the trials in, uh, of life, like um, not doing something because you um, don't want to do something, then that's not good. And this is also pointing because there's a lot of people that just want to. It's like, hey, let's go live out and whatever and uh, live for us. And um, and and just God doesn't want people that, that do this. He puts people 
he puts his chosen people in circumstances where they can change um, different people around them. If he allowed the people to just go off and live in the middle of nowhere and, and do their own thing, there's no point in that person. Um, and that's what they're, what this is saying. Love yourself less um, and have more love it, because uh, with loving yourself less, it, um, you have more love to give. Don't seek... Uh, to love, but to give it. Um, false deliver, um, deliverers have arisen and proclaimed. Uh, sorry, I, that one's. Um, I don't know what I wrote. Be, uh, he still had um, to overcome the weaknesses of men. Perhaps they cannot comprehend the heights of which men can rise when inspired by Yahuwah, the Father of all men. Uh, Sorry, I'm having a hard time reading my own handwriting. Show how the good are to be separated from the wicked. Um, a prophet is ex unacceptable in his own neighborhood. Um, and basically, I mean, and that I find interesting. Um, and I find this true in my old, own life, um, but it says the prophet is unacceptable. Um, I find this to be true in my own life. Um, the people that I grew up with, um, they see the person that I used to be um, and don't take me seriously now. Um, and so they um, don't take what I've been saying um, that seriously. Um, and it says he sent out apostles from among his disciples uh, in pairs to deal with many things caused by the intrusion of evil. Do not dispute with them, but put things right with patience. Never disregard a question or abuse him. Because uh, they can only grasp what you say according to their own understanding. Speak plainly to their hearts and to their hearts. Um, so people can only understand um, certain things according to what they know. Um, and that's what God does is God gives you only things that you can understand and he builds it up over time. And that's also, I think, where, where the milk is. Um, there's a thing of the Bible where um, it's like, well, where they basically said it's like well you you should have solid food at this time but instead you you need milk um so yeah that is um that's very true it's like i mean god wants us to be um at a different level at certain times and and we have to go back to the basics uh because we keep um doing the wrong thing It says the body is of little importance for it perishes um, at uh, at its hour, but the ruach never dies. The ruach is a spirit. Do what is right and just. Study books of wisdom and live according to the teachings. Um, exploiting no one and work for the rule of Elohim. Elohim is another name for God the Father. Manage. Uh, Okay, so it says marriage is not um, not of the flesh, nor made by the words of men. It is of the Ruach, the, the Spirit, and they uh, joined by Ruach in sight of uh, Yah. The marriage bond is forged by adversity and, um, hammers, uh, um, and the hammers of stress and struggle. So... Um, Marriage is not going to be easy. Um, I mean, it's it's forged by adversity and hammers of stress and struggle. So in other words, your marriage is supposed to go through different things. Your marriage is supposed to um, have different things happen because um, that's how you, how you learn. Um, learn and grow. And it says, love can only be proven and established by difficulties and tribulations. No man of himself can know 
right from wrong for what is right um is is um in two men's eyes may be wrong in in another's um therefore strife strife uh strife rises among them so what's right in someone's eyes may not be right in someone else's um so it says no bible equals no moral standard some of man son, oh, son of man yeshua is the perfected man who will set a standard of those who wish to be true sons of of elohim so our standard is um yeshua or god the son um and no one else um each must um must seek only to excel in the things um I can't read my handwriting. Uh, I have not come to bring peace, but to put a sword into the hands of men, setting sons against their fathers and daughters against their mothers. Um, so God didn't bring peace. He actually is trying to separate the wheat from the chaff. So if you think otherwise or have been told otherwise, that's not the case, because that's clearly in multiple areas. Um, he wants people to be separated from uh, from each other. Um, however, you are supposed to help your brothers and your sisters. You're supposed to help those of your own family and own household. Um, and I am understanding and co uh, compassionate, not expecting anyone to bear a load too heavy for them. Life loads um, each according to his capacity, and no two bear a similar burden. The self-righteous uh, sees no wrong in themselves, only in others, and they interpret all things to accord with their own convenience. Um, yeah, so that's basically the, uh, the log in their own eye, and that's like the judging where... Um, they don't see their own um, things, but they are very brutal and vicious when it comes to judging someone else. Anyone that uh, Yahuwah inclines towards me hears me speak with his voice. Um, all things will change when y Yahuwah wills it. Um, for all things will change when you... Uh, for all... Trees are rooted in darkness, but the good tree uh, transmutes the things of darkness into things of light. He who follows um, may cause wholeheartedly, uh, will, uh, willing to life. Okay, so the tree thing. Um, so think of the seed and the way that this was told actually in another part of the this book is seeds start in the darkness so you're starting like a life in in the darkness and you don't know any better but over time you grow and you um you grow into the light that's kind of our our relationship with god is, is we grow um into the light um and it's like we can grow big and strong or we can um or just kind of exist and go along the ground um that's the way i see it so Oh, okay, so the the next thing was is is he who follows my cause wholeheartedly will gain eternal life. Um, and it says, yet what I can do, you can do also. Um, it says the sword is the ruach or the spirit, even as the body is the sheath. Let your swords be bright and keen for the fray. Be staunch and resolute, and the rule of Elohim will surely sweep all wickedness and evil, all pain and distress from the face of the earth. Let your light shine before men uh, so they see the path clearly. Um, join lights together so they combine to form uh, an unquenchable flame. Um, that also goes with two um, 
two are better than one and three is a uh, strong chord kind of thing that was mentioned in the Bible. Uh, be stout hearted and resolute for the struggle will be grim. The foe is uh, wily and well entrenched behind thick walls. <clears throat> the devil knows what he's doing. He's been here a long time. He's been here. I don't know how, how long he existed in the heavens. Um, so he's been, uh, let's see. So the, so he was kicked out uh, or made to go to the earth. And if the earth is about 6,000 years, so he's been on, uh, around for at least 6,000, probably longer, like seven. 12,000, I don't know, years. So he's an adversary that's been a while, been around a long time. So he knows all the tricks. And I think there's uh, statements in the Bible where it clearly points out that he knew a lot before he left heaven. So um, we won't know how old these, these angels are. Um, so we'll see. And it says, those uh, whose proper desires remain unfulfilled on earth will find fulfillment in heaven. Um, I find that very um, encouraging uh, because if there are desires that you wanted to do here on earth and you never fulfilled them, um, then God will give you a chance in heaven. That's if you're his. Um, um, and I, it says, I reject those who scorn the way of wisdom, seeking vain pleasures, which dull the spirit, for they shall be sorrowful in the proper place. The things built of selfishness and false pride will be broken. The deceitful shall not know the presence of Yahuwah. Only those that are clean can come into the presence of Yahuwah. Um, I reject those uh, who in any way cause needless suffering for they shall go uh to a place of pain woe to all who hear my words but twist their meaning to suit their convenience for it is what a man thinks that will lead him to glory or, or to decay you shall never swear falsely or break an oath pledges must be kept so if you pledge something um or promise your heart um, and all that good stuff, you um, you should not do that. Um, if you have broken a pledge, um, you, you need to ask for repentance. Um, God will forgive you, but if you have sworn a pledge, um, like there was, um, so was Elizabeth, who was John the Baptist, um, um, mom, um, she pledged um, John the Baptist to the church, just like in the olden days where um, Samson was promised to the church if um, uh, if a certain outcome happened. I can't remember exactly the outcome, but um, and that's what they did. Um, Samson grew up in the church, and the same with John the Baptist. Um, love your enemies, but not their faults. Um, Give without expectation or or of return. When will men bring Yahuwah out of the temples and make him participate in their daily lives? So basically, God wants to participate in your lives. He wants to be there for you, and to um, he he wants to. It's like he wants you to ask them like the decisions that you have to make. He wants to know how how your life is going. He wants to know, hey, I'm not liking this or. or and I don't know how many times I have uh, absolutely been screaming or like throwing tantrums and fits. It's like not happy with the situation. Um, and it's it says we should be joyful in all situations. But there's been situations that it's just been fight after fight after battle after battle after battle. And it just never lets up. And so, um, so yeah, I've I've let God have it. <laughs> And he wants us to be honest with him. It's like, okay, I'm I'm not liking this. What what is going on here? Um, he wants us to just let him know, um, and just and then, what I would do is just ask him for repentance, ask him for guidance and what to do and where where to go. Um, so, it says, I have not come to abolish the Torah, or to change the teachings of the prophets, but to complete them, um, adding. And it also says adding any, um, oh, and then it says adding any necessary clarification and interpreting them to the understandings of men. 
So basically, God wants to clarify things. He wants to interpret them so people understand it. Um, do your good deeds in secret, knowing that uh, they are not overlooked and will be duly rewarded, but do them without thought of reward, or they will lose their merit. Um, pray in solitude, for your Father can be... Uh, contacted from anywhere um, and is everywhere. Prayer is contact between Ruach and Ruach, in other words, spirit and spirit, and should seek only to reinforce the strength of the Ruach. This is a prayer I found interesting. Uh, Our Father in Ruach, may your nature become known uh, among men and uh, your rule established on earth according to the heavenly plan. May your design be completed. Give us the sustenance uh, we need and over... And overlook our transgressions as we overlook the transgressions of others. Do not test us too severely and strengthen us against the servants of evil. So that's the prayer, which is I found interesting. When you fast or undertake an obligation, do not show it. Provide uh, you with view of everything optimistically. Maintaining a cheerful and confident outlook, you will radiate assurance if not, you will radiate despondency and gloom uh, wherever you go. Uh, so those were two different things. Um, it's like when you um, when you fast or have an, uh, undertake an obligation, um, don't go like, oh, well, this is so hard and kind of like show it. You need to show it's like, okay, I've got this. Um, and yeah, you, you may have your stomach grumbling and it may be very hard for you, but God wants you to just fight and not really show that off. It's like he doesn't want you. Um, and it's just like with giving. It's like he wants you to, to give it in secret and God will reward you openly. Um, so the soul is more important um, than the body. Do you think any any less consideration has been given to your welfare uh, when you are being tried in tribulation? Try and see the objective of the test. So if God is testing you and things haven't changed, maybe there's something that God is trying to show you. So um, so ask him, if I guess, oh, what's going on? Why am I still here? Um, Therefore, worry less about material things and concentrate more on the spiritual, making cause of Elohim your main concern. Uh... Do this, and all other things will come within your reach. Uh, first, examine your own faults and failings before you criticize others. Uh, the road to road leading to immortality is austere, and the road uh, fraught with difficulties. Those who indicate an easy path are false guides. You will know them uh, by the effects of their teachings. So, if you are, if if an if a guy is te- or a, a teacher is teaching a easier route, then um, they are a fa- more than likely a false god. And it says austere in the road trot. Uh, I can't remember what austere means. Um, it's not an easy path is basically what it's saying. Um, good will intercede when we hear Yahuwah's words and put them into practice. I call upon men of goodwill to follow us. Men who wholeheartedly desire to uh, the light and oppose the way of darkness. Re, um, road is long and beset with by many foes. It says, life's purpose, to produce shepherds, um, not sheep. The lives of the people are turned inwards upon themselves. So that's what he doesn't want. He doesn't want you to turn inwards upon yourself. Uh, He wants shepherds because um, sheep follow their shepherd. Um, And our main shepherd is obviously Jesus Christ. But here on earth... Um, God wants us to be leaders so we can lead others. Uh, we we should learn and grow, and uh, we always need to be growing and learning. 
my my supply is inexhaustible i have multiplied uh this through you so now you go among the people and provide what they need You are among the entitled to know secrets concerning the rule of Elohim, but those not of the number, everything should be explained simply and in parables. Be, uh, beware of those who would bring you before their courts. Do not concern yourselves about what to say. You will receive inspiration of the Holy Spirit. Each man has his own road and, and his own light. Men will always go astray, but those who lead them astray um, can't shun responsibility. Be on guard against uh, against undutiful inclinations and work in harmony with another. All things are possible for those who believe them possible. There is righteous anger, which is uh, justified use uh, of self-control. Go, carry the good tidings without trepidation and fear, without respect pers of persons calling all who listen to follow a path which is direct, narrow, and stern. Many will flock to my cause, but few will be chosen to serve. Uh, many will follow my way, but turn aside at the obstacles. Take message to all, teach each according to his own understanding and capacity. Evil cannot be rectified by evil, no matter what the circumstances. In other words, don't try to take revenge. Don't try to um, rectify a situation. If someone attacks you with evil, um, we're supposed to love everyone. Um, so yeah, don't don't return evil for evil. Men are brought to goodness by guidance and example. Torah only be diligently read the whole word by word. Can it be understood? So transgressions are the fathers which cause the kids to suffer. We have to instruct in children and not permit them to be unruly. Um, it also says in the Bible um, to not withhold the staff um, from children. Um, if they're not shown what they've done wrong and are punished for it, then they're going to keep doing what they're doing. A man's responsible uh, not only for what he does, but for what uh, he fails to do. Deeds are like pebbles. And I found this really interesting. Deeds are like pebbles thrown into a pool. And all the harm done by the ripples shall be accounted against um, he who caused them. The transgressions of the rich lie mainly uh, with the things they fail to do. Those are the poor and things they find it difficult to avoid. All things are taken into account. Um, if a brother does wrong, uh, reprove him quietly, but let it uh, be between you two alone. And if it can't be settled, then find a person that is acceptable to both of you and decide the issue, to decide the issue. There's so much more to life than eating, and body requires uh, more than clothes. Um, be prepared for whatever comes, lamp lit and awaiting master's return. Any servant who knows what to do but fails to do it should not go uh, unchastised. Uh, but those who do not know what is expected often of them cannot be justly criticized. Yahuwah rules the kingdom of the spirit, but the kingdom of flesh, he rules through his victory, which is us. But man tries to uh, set up uh, himself, um, set himself up as uh, the independent ruler. So God rules through us on this world is what he's trying to say. In regards to... Never mind. Uh, Yahushua... Um, gathers lost sheep, bringing them back to the fold. He came to cleanse uh, the earth and purifying them with fire. Um, think less of earthly weaknesses and more of godly strength because we inherit Yahuwah's sustenance and are heirs to his glory. Um, it says, um, and I found this interesting, with the ten virgins, it describes them as irresponsible and not ready and oilless. Um, 
It says, deal with others as um, you would be dealt with. Um, it says, not a single deed or thought, whatever it um, is, be good or bad, is um, overlooked. So nothing that we say or do on this world is ever overlooked. For thoughts mold and strengthen um, or weakening the Ruach. It is not, um, is it not written, uh, the nature of man is formed according to his thoughts. So those are, um, that's up, up to like uh, uh, page 124. Um, those were just a few of the things that I have wrote, written down. Um, hopefully you understood them and some of them are, I mean, it was just hard reading my own handwriting. Um, but I thank you for joining me. Um, but I'm just trying to show you different books in, of the Bible. Um, I don't know who, well, I, I, yeah, I do. Uh, false prophets have gotten into the church and claimed different things and um, put their own traditions and own ways of doing stuff. They've added to the, the Holy Word and um, taken out parts of the, uh, the stuff so we wouldn't understand what was going on. So um, it is our, our duty and job to understand his words better. Um, and God talks in parables trying to get us to understand what's going on. Um, so thank you for joining me. Um, sorry, well, I mean, I had to go this long in order to get everything in. Um, but this is Moose. Um, but my dog's actually up on the bed. He's snoozing up there. <laughs> uh, thank you for joining me and have a great God-blessed day.